Hey guys, I'm going to give you some powerful drawing tips on how to improve your portrait illustrations. Wait, why would I do that? I should just keep it all for myself, right? I'm too nice for that, all right? So I'm going to give you those tips. Hold on to your hats, because here we go. Okay, quick tip before we get started. This three value system that I'm going to show you can be done in pencil, charcoal pencil and digitally with a Wacom tablet and a pen stylus. So you can feel free to jump right in because these are universal concepts that will make your workflow much faster and your art more clear to your audience. All right, let's go. All right, I'm sitting here with a cleaned up line drawing that I did of a portrait and combined that with some wings, okay, for the challenge. Now, from here, I can do one of four to six things let's say roughly and i wanted to take you through a couple of those options and i'm basing this on a three value system it makes things very uh clear and simple and hopefully it will draw the viewer's attention in okay so option number one is full value figure on a light background now we have a figure ground relationship the ground is the background the figure is the thing that you're interested in painting, in this case, uh, this woman's portrait. So full value, she's full value on a light background. Next option is full value on a dark background. Very simple and stark, I love this one. Then you have dark on light. This could be a backlit situation, um, used in photography all the time. You can give it a nice rim light and it'll be very powerful. It, and the next one is full value with a gradation um, from top left dark to bottom right light. So just introducing a gradation is very powerful. You can also mix this up with kind of a glow, right? So you have full value figure on a middle dark background with a glow. It's very Rembrandt-like and brings the attention to the front of the face. Next one is gradation, right? Full value figure on middle dark or middle light background with a gradation from bottom right to top left, okay? And then you have kind of a high key situation. High key means that you're using the top half of the value range, say from value one, which is light, all the way to let's say value five, so middle of the value scale, and it, it has a certain kind of emotional impact to it. It's very light. And I'm using a dark gradation on the left side of, of the picture so that it draws your attention to her eyes. Okay, we have these six options laid out here and let's discuss them. On top left, you have full value on a light background. Obviously, she's the star of the show. There's no competition in the background. Very simple. Just render the face and you're good. Moving to the right, full value on a dark background. This one has such stark contrast and it makes the, the gradation and the organic forms inside the silhouette of the head um, take on a certain 3D quality with the black background that's flat, no gradation. So when you compare the two, light background, dark background, this one is much more dramatic. It's kind of chiaroscuro, like a Caravaggio painting and I love that okay moving to the right you have the next setup which is dark on a light background which is a backlit scenario so she's in shadow on this one that makes her kind of obscure right so if you want to hide the character or keep them a little bit of a mystery until you reveal them this dark on light uh, scenario could work well for you depending on what it is you're trying to say but you're definitely obscuring the character for a little bit and keeping the value range in the character kind of low key that is you're using the darks and middle darks and excluding most of the lights and that has a certain psychological impact on the viewer all right let's move to the bottom left full value on middle light background with a gradation now what the gradation does is two things. It creates movement from, let's say, top left to bottom right. And it also silhouettes the character in a certain way. And in this case, 
the contrast is up near her eyes. So we have middle dark against a light face and your eye will go to the area of greatest contrast. The bottom right and lower half of the picture doesn't have as much contrast, so your eye doesn't go there. Very good. Okay, so the next one moving on is full value on middle light background with a pool of light. So this is very kind of Rembrandt lighting where he did that spiritual lighting with um, light cascading down from the top and you had a dark dark shadows and a dark figure. Um, this is a variation on that. So you have a middle dark background, kind of flat, and you create a pool of light around the character's face or wherever you want the audience to look. And it's that pool of light that creates the illumination and the contrast and really the, an emotional impact of peace, spirituality. And so it's... Uh, very effective. I love it. And then finally, we have a high key on light background with gradation. So the high key, again, is just using part of the, the upper register or upper half of the value scale from one to five. So you can see in her face, it's very light. And let's see, this has, again, a kind of emotional quality that you can draw from if you want the character to be feminine, let's say poetic, um, appearing light and friendly, then you can use this kind of um, scaled down value range. And then I've put the gradation in from left to right, going from dark to, to light. And again, putting the contrast near her forehead and eyes. So your eye goes there first. So I'm art directing you to give you uh, several different reads. Let's say it's the eyes first, then you go to the lips and neck, and then finally to the back of the head and come back around. So I'm causing um, the viewer's eye to move through my composition. And that's what I want. So I hope that's helpful. I, I find these to be very powerful and they're kind of based on a three value system, just dark, medium, and light. You can do so much with that. But with this kind of um, approach, you have six, six different things that you can do. You can, you, know, you can start with the line drawing and then just play around via thumbnails with um, some of these gradations with very little rendering, really. I, you know, you can just render the eyes, nose, mouth, and leave everything secondary to that. Uh, you don't have to put detail everywhere. The gradation gives you that sense of a kind of sophisticated rendering where there is none, right? So it cuts down on the amount of work that you have to do. And it is effective. It creates movement. And it also creates a kind of silhouette and draws the attention of the viewer to where you want the viewer to look just by that simple device. So I hope that helps and I hope I explained that well. Try it out on your characters and see, you know, see what you think. I think you don't have to go to straight to rendering. That's what we kind of do. But just selectively render a certain area and let the background, you know, play around with dark on light, light on dark right? Full value with gradation from left to right or gradation from right to left, top to bottom. It, you have so many options with this. Okay. I hope that helps and we will see you in the next one.